Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the uh, Against the Hive campaign where I'm trying to survive against the swarm of chrysalids and this is exactly the name of the game of this mission so I couldn't have asked for more from a uh, perspective of story writing I suppose. I personally don't think this will be a very successful mission but we're going to see. 200 supply and a lot of intel on uh, the table to grab the intel certainly would be great in terms of the team i've done a couple of restructures so it's a mix of our uh, prominent uh, a team lyrical and memory the two that are still ready uh, then b team uh, enders makes a return uh, to try to help us with some healing Noxus and Highward and Hawkbird from the B team are there. The change that you will see is that uh, Noxus is now running a normal assault rifle instead of uh, the big uh, bulky cannon. Mainly because the cannons don't have any weapon upgrades at this point uh, and the assault rifle actually has a superior automatic uh, reload function and more ammunition and the same damage and the same accuracy. So. There's really not a lot of reason not to use it at this point. It'll allow him to continue laying down suppressive fire and uh, also take enough overwatch shots at the same time. So I actually appreciate uh, that will help us at the moment. Uh, other than that, let's take a look at how this mission plays out. Okay, eliminate the chrysalid ripper swarm. Well, My fears are materializing is this might be that stupid mission we were thinking about. I hope it's worth it. Let's see. This is going to trigger. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Good, let's soften the guys up. Fire in the, hole. the trick was to kill the needle rippers. Down. So let's do exactly that. They do have 30 defense. One down, thousands to go. Well, the last time we were certainly in a better spot. Okay, I'll go. We weren't uh, fighting with conventional weapons as far as I recall. 100% uh, hit. Yes, thank you. Even Hawkbite takes the guns. No one wants to touch these filthy little rippers. There's still a needle ripper. I like the idea of that. So let's use our best bet, high ground. In case of doubt, resort back to high ground. Unfortunately, doesn't have anything other than Comet Protocol to deal with the Ripper, but that's okay. 100% kill. I'll take that. K 
Okay, we need a, a really solid position, high ground, just to fight that swarm. We're in the middle of a city. Wait, 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 wait. Group mothers? No. We, no, no. Please. Be a little bit reasonable. We don't want to fight group mothers. Good, who else is standing up there? I think the sniper is the right choice. Hey, Wired. Cover isn't as important as you would think because we're fighting against chrysalids, right? Um, but Overwatch is important. Well, great. No one reacts to the chrysalid hive drone. We're all okay with it coming out of the ground. Wow. What a display of camaraderie. Good. Namri gets a full heal. Or close to a full heal. Look, then shotgun to the face because that is always a good technique. I didn't want to crit it. Uh, okay. Overwatch, 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 and Hogbite. Overwatches. Okay, we're going to careful, uh, carefully advance from here on. Well, the reality is we don't have to because they are going to come to us. You gave, who gave these little uh, mm, chrysalid uh, rip, needle rippers dodge and 30 defense? What kind of design is that? Oh, brute mothers. No way, chrysalid poison that creates more chrysalid. Let's just sincerely hope that the brood mothers are not killing a lot of uh, civilians because I for sure have no way of dealing with that. No. And am I the only one who thinks that the movement of the rippers is a bit busted? Like, what are we talking about? These guys literally walk across the entire map. Okay, I don't want to bitch and moan about it, but there are a couple of things that don't really sit very well with me. Okay, so that solves some of our chrysalid problems. Again, not wanting to trigger more. We're staying where we are. Uh, yeah, we. I don't want to heal myself for just two points of damage, but I think 
it would be unwise to do that because six points of damage might already be one shot for brute mother so a bit of a waste but i'm forced to take that action And since everybody and their mother apparently wants to move to here, there you go. Mine that will cover our current position. Free reload. Free kill. Should have uh, used top bite in order to kill. But there are other ladders and other ways of approaching this. And he's just standing there for now. I think we're okay. I think we're actually okay. Um, we have one more overwatch against that Ripper that is coming in. All right. I would like to make a correction. We are not okay. At least the mine worked out well. Good job, now the car is burning, which means we need to move. And the first big bad mother is going to come in. Yeah, I think we're Lyrical will tank the front line. That's the smartest way she has parry. Should have done that way longer ago. I'm on the fire. Oh, five to six, that could have been a kill. I think she's still parrying and that's why they it says they miss okay well it did not take us very long to get completely shed on an overrun I guess that'll be okay. moving back we do have healing if needed um, Listen, I think now is a good time to let the cat out of the bag. Hot bite is needing to destroy a couple of these guys. Assert dominance and so on. Noxus moves. The preview has betrayed me. It suggested I could just stand there, <clears throat> but I couldn't. I wanted to hit that brood mother. Team working over. I'll keep our protocols as needed. Happy 
Okay, well, this is going to be tough. Let's hit this brute mother. Still not good enough. Uh, we will move a tiny bit back. And let's set that brute mother up for success. Good. Now it's time for us to actually go down. This world is ours. We don't want to charge in. These rippers, unfortunately, will be able to come to us, so we gotta be extra careful. I still have the frost grenade if we need it. And we do have a brood mother here. And maybe the answer indeed is freezing both of them. If I recall correctly, they regenerated um, hit points. Get ready for a surprise. All right, everything is frozen. And let's set up that other brood mother. this year and this could be a kill actually so might as well t uh, try it Almost. Blind that little sucker. And yeah, the chrysalid brood mother is coming in. Okay, just takes a random uh, civilian. That's a needle, needler ripper. We gotta be careful here. More actual chrysalids are being born. That needler is a problem, so we'll focus on it. Okay, well. Let's move back to the front, I guess. One down, thousands to go. 
plenty of fish to catch here. You can't handle me. Gotta deal with the brood mother. Okay, well, we got two brood mothers down. We're rocking a relatively solid defense, I would say. But we're getting swarmed from every direction. As long as the Rippers are taking civilians, I'm fine with that. Well, I'm not really fine with that. That's the wrong uh, way of saying it, but it is in the complete end of the world. Seems doable. Namri. Gets rid of the guy. Okay. Overwatch. Lyrical. Overwatches. Overwatch up here. Big fat reload and hunger down. You know what? No. A protocol for our heroes downstairs. Seems like a sensible thing to do. Okay, Ooh. first onslaught done. But there is plenty more to come. We've already seen chrysalids over here. At least one more brood mother. Frontline is pushing forward, as they should. I think Hayward Will do. would better be placed over there. Striker needs a safe spot, he's low on health. And we're just clustering up a bit more. I am watching. Affirmative. Je couvre la zone. On overwatch. Okay, now is a good time to push forward. I don't want to trigger too much. I mean, maybe we're just trying to get the guys over here to move. Absolutely. On Overwatch. Maintaining this area. Affirmative. Covering now. Scanning. On Overwatch. The enemy moves among us. Okay, we want uh, the chrysalids, the normal chrysalids, to move into us. These two. There is a pack of rippers over there. And we've just seen that they moved closer to us, so I think I'll stay on Overwatch for one more round. Good chance that they are actually going to move fully into us. Oh, so many chrysalids left. Ridiculous. That one ripper alone is tanking okay. the entirety of our, almost the entirety of our overwatch shots.
And who gave these things dodge? Like all of them. I get it. They are nimble, but wow. All right, needed a short break. We're back. Let's go. So, our biggest problem is the needler back here and the uncertain area. We don't want to push into it. Matter of fact, all I want to do is stay here, make sure that we're nicely covered. Um, Let's see, so up here that's a 100% kill, alright, I'm fine with that. That is another solid kill, okay, very good. Reload and try to hit that hive drone, okay, down to two hit points, not bad, not bad. Overwatch and Overwatch and the Ripper is coming. Oh no, it dodged. Come on, hit him. Well, that's what the parry is for, right? More Rippers over here. Okay, well now we do have a bit of a problem here. Uh, I think Hogbite needs to come back and get healed. For the time being though, This here should dish out a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, that worked. I love it when a plan finally functions. Good, the clutch move down to support the hog bite back to full hit points or almost full hit points before then missing a critical shot not good can we hit the needle ripper 41%, that's not great. Yeah, but that isn't great either. Absolutely. So I think we're just going to withdraw even further. And watch here with Noxus. Aid protocol is also on cooldown. Yeah, we're just overwatching. Look, there's a small chance <clears throat> to hit that Ripper. Or we're just going to get the drone down, which I think we should potentially do instead. 40% isn't great. Let's just try to get that drone down.
Come on. Hmm. It's still moving. Oh, wow, we're taking even more damage. I think she needs to heal herself soon. That stinks. That's also bad. That's also bad. Okay, we have a lot of uh, cleaning up to do. Getting completely overrun by them. So, for starters, we need to get out of uh, the river zone. Moving over here. Okay, then I think now is a good time to activate Hogbite's uh, Reaper. We need to get towards a safe distance somehow. So moving down here is good. Getting over here is good as well. Hawkbite, uh, we need you. Mayday, mayday, Hawkbite. Striker moves back, aka Endors. That Needle Ripper should kill the other Ripper and that is a di big fat chain reaction. Setting this needle ripper up. With combat protocol. This gives us yet another strike. I don't want to move in further. My fear is that this is going to trigger. Instead, we're just vaulting. Almost a full kill. Regaining focus. We're doing not too bad for ourselves here. Okay. Just going to heal the front line because they will be the ones going in. Free reload from Noxus. Is it clear? I'm trusting you here. And we're going back up. We do have too many injured uh, mm, injured operators at this point. So I do have an idea. It's a bit extreme. But it might work. We're actually going to move in with that entire team 
and are going to blow these sections off that way we have the balcony for ourselves I know it's a bit extreme but we do have uh, enders in one shot range and the others might take some damage too Memory moves up. And uh, this will seal us off. There is only one way to that balcony. Okay. Let's see how far we can go with uh, just our remaining hit points. Hawkbite needs two more rounds for Reaper, which I would really, really, really like to have before moving on. Okay, come on. One more round. Okay, we got run and gun, we got Reaper. That's all we can ask for at this point. Keep the front line together. And let's hope that we're not going to be overrun by hundreds of uh, chrysalids. We're we fought valiantly, but it seems that we're reaching the limits of our capabilities. Got another high ground over here. Okay, let's give it one more round. I get the feeling they will run into us. I see movement there. Okay, a bit of a careful tactic here, but I want to make sure that we win this mission. Unfortunately, there are multiple entrances here. That's not as safe, um, as safe of a balcony as it could be. Attention, j'arrive. But we're still hoping to capture one of them in transition. Yeah, Hogbite is unfortunately not well positioned up there. We will need to put the front line further forward. They are not running into us. In a perfect world, they would be coming to us. We can rush back. And essentially trap them with a nice little overwatch trap. Ooh, there's another there's another big swarm back here careful so I can do not engage need 
Needle Ripper. We could kill this triplet pack. Too good to not do it. At the cost of triggering another pack. Uh, let's position ourselves in a way that not too many of them can actually reach us. So this here is fine because it's one, two, three, four, five targets that could reach us. We could even reduce that number. Frontline is standing here. I'm taking the rippers. I want the needlers. How far is that needler back there? Would be a double kill. Nah, in that case, let's just kill one of these guys. Overwatch. A protocol to the front line. Makes them harder to hit. Exactly what we need right now. Plus provides immunity to poison. Okay, well. We know there are definitely two uh, two packs. Got every position that they take, which actually blocks a field, is helpful for us. Come on, That's a problem. Oh boy, that is a problem. Luckily, he didn't have enough movement. This is complete and utter bullshit. It, I, I'm not even sure what to say at this point, but think about it. Think about that movement speed that the Ripper just showed. He effectively... Uh, there must be something wrong. This is impossible. That guy started here. This here is 15, 30, 30 uh, 45 to here, 60 to here, 70. Uh, it's completely bongus uh, to assume that that is their normal movement speed. I mean, what the actual fuck? Ridiculous. I'm, I'm not even sure what to say. This guy jumped up here, so my idea of uh, the separated balcony doesn't even really work. what to say I I just think uh, this is stupid Back 
When modding it, who thought that that was a good idea? And that's all, this is the basic question that I do have. When modding it, who thought uh, doing it that way is a good idea? Because, seriously, I mean, I can understand. I can play with a lot of uh, BS. But if you can't even place yourself in a way that uh, you are safe against uh, these guys, what's the point of trying it to begin with? All right, Needle Ripper. Because F you. I don't want to push any further. I'm honestly afraid that that might elsewise get us killed. Supporting Lyrical here, just one field less that uh, she needs to worry about. Psst. Of course, we're missing. Miss and... No, no, don't. Okay, thank you. Oh, she at least wasn't reposting. Okay, this game is treating me like dog, and I do not appreciate such treatment. Okay, Anders okay. tries to kill that thing. To be fair, Namri is uh, the highest health. Uh, which means she needs to take that position there. Noxus has exactly one hit point left. Perfect. And we got blinding protocol, which I think these guys are immune to. moves up no yes go okay then don't that's fine as well can at least parry hope by it ignores the explosion damage and all of the pain that comes with it parries there as well And you know what? Hayward is just blocking here because she also has enough hit points to take over a couple of hits. I don't want people to die. Eventually we killed off the waves of <laughs> I was I was um Contemplating, honestly, I was contemplating that uh, maybe getting out of there is the right call. Wow. What a massive, massive, massive overrun. I'm happy that I brought that team. Sniper potentially was a mistake, but... Ooh. This is how you know that your mission was successful. Hayward is the only one who really is just getting out of there unscathed. Blade Storm. Mwah. 
Okay. We good. We good, boys. We good. Deep focus. Reflect. We're just taking it all. I'll keep a couple of points left over. I like lightning hands. But... Okay. <laughs> we got Bladestorm. That was a payoff for that mission. I am actually happy about it. Anti-Armory Doctrine attacks with your primary weapon will now shred armor. Oh, that's good. That is fantastic. Uh, grants mechanical ally squad side. It gets 50% of range penalty to aim. Boost the chance to critical hit. Ooh. She would actually work very, very well together with uh, Sparks. But I won't build Sparks, it's fine. We want to showcase the new classes, but that is great. Electronic Warfare, 10 hacking skill, and the first activation of Fail Safe is now free action. Mechanical enemies lose one action. The turn they recover from a shutdown or a controlling hack. Well, that's pretty damn good as well, but we need shredding. Uh, we definitely need advanced trauma kits, more revive charges, and heals people on revive. And Lyrical got the major rank. Untouchable, oh, that's a strong argument. But I will take a look at what the others do. After entering uh, Overwatch, gain automatic re reaction shots against any enemy that moves or attacks. Wait a second. Oh. Will persist even Overwatch is removed. Okay, well that is that is that is strong together with untouchable this is a massive combination uh, That is really good uh, again a grenade pocket to equip a second grenade equip flashbangs gain plus one charge most other grenade types hmm. This one here is good. It's really good but untouchable with our low hit points is Fabulous. Let's just go with that. We soon have the training center to hopefully get all of the sweet abilities. And yeah, just in case we ever need rippers, we now got enough corpses. Hello, we good. We good, boys. We good. Um. Yeah. All assaults could start at level 3 and start every mission with one focus is pretty damn good as well. But I think we needed uh, supplies also to build items. Can't upgrade the axe, uh, but we could give ourselves Hellweave, which I think is a good... Uh, mm, Modest upgrade to what we're having. I think that's a modest upgrade to what we're having. I wouldn't want to spend more money for now. We wanted to get the bolt caster. Uh, might as well just go with plasma grenade next because that's really a good upgrade don't need alien alloys what we need is resistance contacts and then continue making contact soon we'll get the next facility lead that's good I appreciate that I know you keep track of your soldiers, but what about all those civilians, Commander? Any idea? Good. And here we got our facility lead. That is good. That's actually very good. 
So we could either go for promotion. Spare parts will not help us a lot. Another resistance contact plus one would be okay. Sonar and Tracy seem to get along very well, so let's first of all do the bonding. Nice shirtless uh, action here. This is how you turn up uh, to warfare, and then they wonder why they are all taking level damage. Never heard about Kevlar in their life. Um. You know, I mean, it's not bad. I suppose we could go for it. And let both of them actually go with it. Their teammates are anyways wounded, so might as well just go with it. Tracy could use that plus one mobility, that's fine. And the additional resistance contact isn't bad. That'll get us all the way up to six contacts without even having uh, any building. We now got Battlefield Medicine as an option. Going for the next facility lead. I mentioned we want to make sure that we are safe. Okay, I think they are training, one of them at least. That's okay. Uh. Okay, greater loss of will, not a problem. Alien infiltrator, not a problem. We would go for the hidden event, if possible. Very soon, the next retaliation strikes. That will be an absolute, an absolute nightmare for us. GTS now automatically achieves the rank of um, sergeant. Yeah, well, I like instance collection, but this live fire training, we work for it, and it's too good to not do it. Commander, the chosen are getting closer to hunting us down every day. The only way we can okay. stop them is to so, first. assaults, definitely we need a new assault, because we only have Lyrical, and there is no one else there. So that's first priority, right? Um, another Marine wouldn't be bad. Uh, they have performed really well so far. Maybe she can help us out restocking the bar. Yeah, I think we're starting with assault and marines. Okay, so who's going to be the first rookie? Andrew of Zell. Let's start here. Assault infantry. Welcome to the draft. Andrew of Zell. I have made a number of interesting discoveries. Nice. Greetings, Commander. So we got, <laughs> yeah, plate uh, plate almost not happening, my dude. Um, I think we're going with the brute mother autopsy. Proving ground. School check is almost done. Even among the staunchest of anti-alien dissidents, recovered advent equipment is Hello, Commander. I mean, we don't have PCS, so this is an immediate. This is an immediate bonus if we were uh, going down that route, and it's only taking two days each. So, having. A reliable source of PCSs might be helpful. Training center is soon coming online. Infirmary isn't looking bad either. Okay, well. There's resistance contacts plus one. Like it. Supplies not needed right now. 
Uh, I, well, supplies are actually needed, but... Well, let's get the, the supplies right now because we're completely without supplies and sometimes you need that extra money and then we're continuing to make contact. Good school check. Very, very helpful. And that, on the other hand, uh, will potentially cost us the region. Because I don't think that we can withstand uh, Operation Night Walk. Uh, but, yeah, I guess we'll have to see. Time will tell. Um, if you liked the swarm and uh, killing 70 enemies or grinding it down to like the last little bits and pieces then uh, leave it a, a big fat like and a comment and see you in two days when i'm getting my ass kicked in operation night walk take care bye bye